It's a big day today. Time to install the new auto. Uh! I just got word that the truck is on its way here. Richard Tilly's still in town. He'll be here in a few minutes. He's coming to set this thing up and I know he's gonna do a killer job. I'm pumped right now. I can promise you this press is gonna be sick. This is the press that I've dreamed of owning since the day that I first picked up a squeegee. So my level of excitement right now is up here. I'm also excited to drive this bad boy some more. loaded time to get to work I bet you guys didn't know that I'm forklift certified see yep. <laughs> everything showed up looking good except for one spot on the press you can see one panel here is super bent shit happens in shipping we'll, we'll figure that out we'll straighten it out we'll maybe get them to send me a new one I don't know not a big deal this guys not wasting any fucking time <laughs> I've been for three days imagine if like you had a UFC fight coming up, right? And they're like, oh, I'll just wait three more days till the fight starts. Like, no way, man. I'm like, no, I can't oh, even play. I didn't even have the forklift turned off yet, and he started ripping shit apart. So we're going to start tearing into boxes, and we'll reveal what press this is once we've got it all opened up. Bitch. This is my favorite press of all of them. the whole lineup. Don't get this part. You want to unveil it? You want to do the pull off? Woo! Oh, shit! Here it is, man. Let's see right there. Boom. So, this is a new press. This is the Rock Next P12 XL. It's a 10 color press. Badass. This thing is a damn Ferrari. A Ferrari with some real chipped ass paint, but. We can deal with that later. It's a used Ferrari. <laughs> it's a new Ferrari, but it's, it's, a new like a, it's yeah. looking like a used Ferrari. Yeah, it's a delivery guy. Can't get his shit together. So there's a lot of crazy stuff that this press can do, but probably the biggest thing that makes this press so special is that we now have individual print head control. So with the last press, all the print heads raised and lowered in unison, which is fine, but when you're using accessories like the Stampinator, which I had on there, it was a little bit annoying because you'd have to time out a squeegee on the press to be super slow to make sure that the Stampinator had enough downtime. But with this press, all the print heads are individual, so it operates kind of like a big ass spider. You can set each one to its own time frame, which means using accessories like the Stampinator is gonna be amazing. And plus we have 10 colors, so that now opens up a whole new world of possibilities because the most that I've ever had in my entire life was eight. So yeah, pretty stoked right now. Wanna get this thing in position? Yeah. We should probably do that before yeah, we go. Yeah, this shit ain't gonna fly like this. Yeah, we need to go this way towards the wall. I guess we gotta get all this shit out of here too. Yeah. Um, we don't have much room to go this way though. We literally, I think we got... Yeah, we're gonna move the dryer. We got a few inches only, so we gotta move the dryer over most likely. Cause yeah, there wasn't a print head on that side or on this side on the other press. Oh, uh, that, that's right, you got the eight foot. We gotta use the pallet arm and kinda sort out where the unload's gonna be, I guess. So you're gonna print that way? So the press is gonna spin that way. So this will be my unload spot. We got plenty of room to move the dryer. I could move over like, I would say like six to eight inches over here. We got. You still have more room on that side. I got a little bit more that this thing can move over too. So all we need to worry about is uh, is this side, is the print heads coming here so you can still clear and walk around, mm -hmm. and then all that shit we can we can move that stuff if need be. How far do the print heads hang past the pallet arm? Like they're like Dude, barely. Up yeah. To here roughly, like an extra foot almost. Go uh, throw it under that other side if you want. It's not a foot. Not no, a foot? It's not a foot. We're just doing this to make me get a fucking workout. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I think you should change your uh, your uh, Instagram tag to Lee Fit. Lee Fit. <laughs> <laughs> it is a oh, foot. Yeah, you're right. My bad. <laughs> Son it's, of a bitch. Damn, it is a lot. <laughs> By the time that clamp or the assembly's on there, yeah, yeah. it's totally a foot. Fudge. 
So how much room do we have on do we have? So we on? might need to come this way a little bit. This press is a little bigger. Look at the measurements on the website. Yeah. The other one was 17 feet exact and this one's 17.1. So whatever that is, I don't know. That's all 10 heads on already. My guy's not playing around. Oh no. So what's next? So I'm gonna do, I gotta take all these, these nuts right here off and then take off these uh, snap rings right here, pull out the support bar here and you just put the lifting arm right there. You do 10 of those babies. From there, I'm gonna quit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I just really wanna print so bad, man. Yeah. So that manual printing isn't for me. How you feeling about this being a one day build? Man, this is what I do, man. This is just what I do. That's the confidence I'm looking for. That's what I do. Why is this your dream press? Why is this my dream press, man? Um, because the, like you said earlier, the uh, individual lifting cylinders uh, gives you a lot of freedom to do, to have your accessories. Um, you have full control of the entire press from the display, uh, including flashing, uh, printing. You can actually push buttons on the display and print. So you can send uh, the shirt or the pallet, whatever you want to call it. You can send it to any print head you want, send it back, send it to your flash, flash it, send it to test print, come back to you, make it dance, man. You can do whatever you want. The U-Press, you know, although I love that press a lot, it was my first press. Um, it just doesn't have as many cool features like that. And I think that that's what makes Rock Press is so much more unique than other uh, companies. Really cool thing about Rock, like even for you, Lee, like if you, if you think that there's something that you feel would be more beneficial, um, they'll listen to you and they'll work with you to get it done. Even if it's, if it's like a programming thing, like, hey, I think if we did this, this, and this, the engineer team would get with you and you, they would figure it out with you. And I don't think other companies would offer that. So your other display arm didn't have a pivoting neck. No. So you've got the double pivot. Dual pivots on this bad boy. Ooh, I can move the lasers. Oh, so awesome. I couldn't do it on the other press. Really? So I never got to use them because they were in the loading station, but I load and unload from one station. Swivel? No, it was on a bar off the one side. You had to like full on unbolt it and put it on the other side. You have an S rock or a rock? No, it was a rock, but it was an old one. It was a 2016. Well, I want to see this now. You went ass backwards. <laughs> Fucked you fucked up? Yeah, I forgot to pull the wires up first. Just gonna bring those out from the side of it. Oh. Yep, just like a pink one. Nice job. Oh, get out of here. Rock tech. <laughs> What's it like being the first female rock tech? What's it like being super fucking annoying? <laughs> <laughs> You can't put both your hands on your knees and look backwards at the same time. Really? <laughs> we put in over a 12 hour day today. I am burnt as hell. Tilly was too. He already boogied out of here back to his hotel, but we made some really good progress. Most of the press is together. We were hoping to get the whole thing built in one shot, but we ran into a couple of hiccups. Nothing major, just some software update stuff, but we had to wait for people to get back to us on that and send files back and forth, and it just kind of held up the whole process. The goal was to have the entire press built and functioning in one day. That's why I was jumping in, helping out on stuff, but things happen the way they happen, whatever. We're gonna get back in here in the morning and knock this thing out. So by tomorrow afternoon, we're gonna see this bastard print some shirts. What do you think about the new press, Duke? Anything? It's got nothing. I'm tired. To be continued. Day two. We're gonna see this thing dance today. Oh, there's so much smell. <laughs> Cold out today, huh? <laughs> uh, what's up, bro? Running back up. Uh, always, man. Always oh, ready man. to go. What's up, bro? Nice to meet you, man. Pleasure to finally meet you, man. Thank Pleasure, you. dude. Well, that's not good. This is the one. Yo, let's go! Oh, yes. man! Uh, All right, let's do it. We gotta drop. 20 feet. What the fuck are these guys doing? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I ain't doing no goddamn push-ups. What do you think the problem was? Everything. So when we Stick. what we did was we did a direct connect to the display through Portugal. Once they uploaded a new software in there for you, what happened was it cleared the USB that we had in there because we had to take it out. So we had to clear that one, put the USB back into it, reformat power down, and then the press automatically uploaded the new software in the USB for Yeah, so there was two softwares competing with each other. So we had the software that we loaded last night that was still plugged in while he's putting in his new software and they're just fighting with each other. <laughs> so once we removed the old one from last night, boom. I was getting stressful for a while. Are you happy? Right. Getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'll be happy when we're printing shirts and it works. The press is together. This thing looks insane. These guys killed it oh, so hard. Get in here. Ugh. Let's check this thing out. Bro. Yo, we got a friend. It's, yeah, it's, it's, we've been, what are we we've waiting, been waiting on, man? Waiting on. Yeah. How do you feeling, bro? Yeah, yeah, how you feel? Crazy, crazy. This thing is absolutely bananas. Seeing this thing run, it's just, it makes the old press look like a cereal box toy. Yeah. Let's print some damn shirts, man. Which ones are we doing? I don't know, I gotta coat some screens. I think we'll do the easy one. We'll do the, the Seeker Skull first. It's mm -hmm. a one color, front, back, but two so, screens per side. Kinda yeah, just ease into it. Yeah, just, just the tip. First shot, first shot. <laughs> Ooh, fucking shit. First try. Damn, bro, good shit, man. First try, good we're shit, on. Bro. That's probably the best print Game ever. Over. There's definitely a few spots I can clean up. Yeah. But uh, I think it's gonna come down to adjusting some squeegee angles and shit, especially on the top one. Yeah. I'm gonna run it sharper for sure on this one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude. Nice. <laughs> That's... Nailed it. Oh. So much stress just fucking lifted off of me. You have no, no idea how good this feels right now. After like a year of stress and struggling with that other press. Oh, so good. This is retail quality, even above. This is artistic quality. This is like, yeah, this is above retail quality. This is impeccable. I chose this design for a reason too, because this thing is obviously super wide and really long and just the sheer amount of registration problems I've had over the last year. I was not fucking around today. I wanted to make sure we are gonna be good. And the fact that this came out on the first shot, yeah. the new press was a good call. Well, you guys ready to print like 70 of these? Let's go. <laughs> Whole stack, done already. First test stack, this came out perfect. Let's print the fronts. Well, that was an amazing first day. Everything on the press ran so smoothly. Both prints registered first try in like what? under a minute? Yeah, yeah, it was quick. Ridiculous. So we're gonna wrap it up here. We're gonna come back again tomorrow. We gotta finish the front side of these shirts still, and we've got one more design to print yet, which is gonna be so much cooler than this one. Thank you, fellas. Dude, of course. Pleasure, man. You guys, Pleasure. what are we on, like eight Life savers today? right here. Yeah, I was not feeling work. auto until today. Now I'm really feeling it. All right, we're back in the shop. 
everyone's pretty fucking beaten. It was like a 13 or 14 hour day yesterday. Yeah, this good. guy was napping on the floor. Zach's looking a little tired over there. A little tired. Bro. I don't know, you made it through yesterday. Guy was on like three hours of sleep, multiple <laughs> flights, yeah. working days and days before that. Hell yeah. Unreal. Dan's here today, making a rare appearance in the videos. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna go through like maintenance, operation stuff, and then we're gonna print the final design, and it's a good one. understand how to operate this thing that was pretty damn fast i mean i did kind of have most of it figured out in the first 10 minutes yesterday i was talking about that we got back to the uh, like this man he just like <laughs> picks the tool up and he's just like i on. felt I, I realized that when i got in the house last night i sat i laid down and i was talking to my girl i'm like I, for some reason like i just knew what i was doing i don't understand it was just like i was it was just getting fed into my brain we did nothing yesterday <laughs> yeah. we were like we were just like all right here you go man this is i didn't even realize until i sat down after and then i started thinking about it i was like yeah. they didn't show me anything really and i just started going some stuff Shit, <laughs> give me some stuff and that's like Jordan just gave you a pair of shoes bro <laughs> <laughs> Jordan just gave you a pair of shoes man you better carry that on the plate with you. Hey, Yo, I had those. Thanks, I had one. Yeah, thank I you. Bought them. So fucking happy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 That shit's crazy. Hold on, step right. That's, up. Up. that's got extra. Know, that's game used. That's extra value. Really? <laughs> I bet you don't have one of these. Everyone's gone now. I didn't really film a whole lot of that because I kind of wanted to just hang out and spend some time with my friends before they left. But I've got the shop and this beast to myself now. So it's time for my first solo mission. I'm gonna be doing a two color front, two color back, so three screens per side. Not something super complex, but considering my history with the previous press, that's enough to take on for now. This design is super sick though. I've been wanting to print it for a very long time, so let's make this happen. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous right now. This thing freaks me out a little bit. are done so far so good that is all 75 shirts printed front and back Done. And I only had two misprints throughout the entire run, and both of which were the result of trying to film and operate this thing at the same time, so I don't even count those. They both could have been avoided. <laughs> Feeling so good right now. Man, I don't want to jinx it, but I'm starting to feel like all the problems that I've had for the past year after moving into this new shop are finally over. The last year was fucking rough. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like it wasn't. This whole business almost imploded due to equipment failures. There were so many times that I wanted to quit and it led me into some real deep, dark places that I don't even wanna talk about, but it seems like all of that is becoming a thing of the past. The whole sticker and vinyl department that was down forever because of company incompetence, basically, which is something that I haven't even talked about yet. I think that's gonna be its own video because it's a pretty good slash bad story. That whole situation is done. It's been running for the past couple of months again smoothly. The whole debacle with that beautiful, fully custom built manual press that I had. You guys saw that get solved a few videos back. And now the biggest weight that has been on my shoulders for the past year is lifted off. Having a working auto. And it's my dream press. Mmm. I'm so happy right now. I just want to yell like a crazy person. That first run with this press could not have gone any better. I thought the learning curve of this machine was going to take a little bit longer than two tiny little piles of shirts, but I already feel 100% comfortable with the basic setup and operations of this machine. We did say this press is like a Ferrari and that was no joke. All the features and cool bells and whistles that this thing has make it such a treat to operate and it makes it incredibly easy. It's actually kind of amazing. These shirts turned out pretty damn well too. I think for most shop standards, they would say, hell yes, these are awesome and kind of leave it at that. For me and my standards, however, I'm gonna call them eh, 80 to 90%. Definitely a job well done for my first run on this press and like, I don't know, my third or fourth in total on an auto and far beyond what I could print on a manual, so that's awesome. But I expect a lot more out of myself now. I've got a world-class machine in my hands and I wanna work at a world-class level, but I think that's gonna come in time as I practice and play around with settings and really learn how to print on an auto like a pro. And that's gonna be part of the fun of having this machine on the channel now. We will definitely 
definitely cover all of that and all the cool stuff that this machine can do in future videos. But for now, we're calling everything that happened here today a big win. Massive, massive thank you to everyone at Rionet who helped make this happen. You guys are amazing. They had to listen to me bitch and moan and get pretty nasty a few times over the course of the past year. And they never wavered once. They kept pushing to make this thing right. And I am super grateful to have the people there who have my back. If you guys are at all interested in this machine or any sort of rock stuff, get in touch with Ryonet. I put a link down below for you guys to do that. And of course, another big thanks goes out to my boys, Rich and Zach from Rock for coming out here and setting this thing up. They left no detail unchecked. I know in the video it probably looked like we were dicking around a lot and having a good time, but those dudes are true professionals operating at the highest level. If you wanna get a press installed, that's definitely who you wanna ask for. They are two of the best human beings that I know, and I'm proud to call those dudes my friends. But I am exhausted, so I'm gonna go revel in this moment for a while and then sleep for like a week. Please click the like button down below for me. That helps push these videos out a little bit further and make sure you're subscribed because I'm operating at full force again. Shit's about to get real. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you again in the next one. Oh, great. I can't see shit. Mine, Lee Stewart. L-E-E-S-T-U-A-R-T. Fine on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it works out, it works out. Ah, I got it. So this is the new press, the Rock P2, oh, fuck. <laughs> so this is <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> Let's go. Something like a stamping air or all out cut. Fuck. Ah. Did you go to the gym this morning? No, this is it. I knew <laughs> I was. I gonna, figured. I saved my energy on purpose. Just a little press build on a Friday. Yeah, just a freaking three hour workout straight. I'm holding this heavy camera, man. I'm really feeling the biceps right now. <laughs> Buys, tries, the delts. This is actually probably the most I've stood up in a long time. <laughs> this week's tech tip. <laughs> Do good work. Now he jumps in. Looking like I'm doing something. <laughs> First is all Bill, he starts taking some yeah. First time he's contributed. Jeez. Love it. This is just so I can take all the credit. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Thank you. Ooh, it's all anodized green and shit. Oh, nice. <laughs> Son of a bitch. What is it like being so devilishly handsome? It makes life difficult. I mean, I'm a distraction everywhere I go. Special treatment. It's not always what it's cracked up to be. Does your mouth taste like shit right now? <laughs> <laughs> so I got, I got to do it. I'm sorry, pal. You know, it was good luck at the first, but yeah, I know you're trying to get away. <laughs> oh, I don't want to feel the crunch. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> I had to do it. it was, they were gonna fuck in a shop and I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's cleaning his glass of the exposure unit. People, clean your glass. Every day, dude. Oh my God, I'm brilliant. This looks like one of those free stock videos you get. You know, they're all like high quality looking. What's it like to be around world-class printers all day long? Miserable. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs>